like to discuss uh, breast reconstruction after um, breast cancer, which is a very important topic. So please, Dr. Adnan, if you could... Uh... Sure. So breast cancer, unfortunately, remains um, a very common type of, of cancer in women. In fact, it's the leading cause of death in a number of countries in women. Um, we know that there is a, a lifetime risk of developing breast cancer uh, in all women about 1 to 8, so it's very high. Um, so it's a devastating news for any woman um, if they're told that they have breast cancer and it can certainly, uh, it's a life-changing diagnosis. Um, it can uh, impact uh, not just on their physical appearance but the physical and mental social well-being too. Um, I am, as a plastic surgeon, um, would be involved in reconstructing breast cancer cases after they've had their breast removed or at the time where the breast uh, has been removed due to cancer. So this is not just a one person effort, it's a multidisciplinary team effort. So normally uh, multiple professionals will come together uh, to treat one patient. Um, namely they would involve a breast cancer surgeon who would do the uh, resection part and I would do the reconstructive side uh, of uh, making a breast again. There are other professionals involved, the oncologists, the physiotherapists, the radiologists, they all work together uh, for the benefit of the patient. So it's very important uh, that uh, patients understand that breast cancer care is multidisciplinary. Um, as a plastic surgeon, uh, what can I offer them? So there are two types of patients who come to me seeking a breast reconstruction after cancer surgery. Um, there are ones who, have, who want immediate reconstruction and there are ones who may want reconstruction after they've had uh, the breast cancer treatment completed. So immediate reconstruction would involve uh, removing the breast, which is done by a breast cancer surgeon. And as a plastic surgeon, I would then reconstruct the breast using various modalities such as free tissue transfers, implants, sometimes both, um, free tissue transfers would mean taking, it's like a tissue transplant where I would remove tissue from one part of the body, skin, fatty tissue and the blood vessels and replant them onto the chest uh, and that's called a free tissue transfer or free flap. Implant based reconstructions, although simple to perform, have long term issues and sequelae and complications. So the gold standard for breast cancer reconstruction is certainly a free tissue transfer uh, replacement, so like for like. Of course, it's not just a one-off surgery. Uh, as a plastic surgeon, then I'll have to look after them for a period of a year to two years. For example, they may want nipple areola reconstruction in the future, and then some symmetrizing work on the other side sometimes is required. So all those things um, are needed. So it's a long journey. So I say, I say to my patients, this is a journey you'll have to take with me uh, in terms of um, surg uh, surgical treatments and so on. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Uh, breast cancer completely, uh, it's a devastating news for anybody as it is. And then to live with one breast and have not having the other can also create huge psychosocial issues with them, it can affect their confidence and day-to-day -day living. So, um, so yes, I think it's extremely important to have various options available and I discuss them with patients uh, at length at the time of consultation. Perfect. Thank you so much, Dr. Adnan. Thank you very much.